can't even ascend to certain dimension until that you know the name of the Lord. That you need to understand. When you study the book of Exodus, I will show you something very quick. Are we going to pray together? The book of Exodus chapter 3 verse. The book of Exodus chapter 3 verse 11. 3 verse 11 to 15. The Bible says, And Moses said unto God, Who am I that should go unto Pharaoh and that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt? And he said, Certainly I will be with thee, and this shall be token unto thee that I have sent thee when thou hast brought forth the people out of the Egypt. Ye shall serve God upon this mountain. The next verse. And the Moses said unto God, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, and shall say unto them, The God of your father has sent me unto you. And they shall say to me, What is his name? And what shall I say unto them? Moses is asking the name of God. People of God, our God has a name. I'm going to show you something very powerful in here. Try it out. You shall see. As I said, the prophetic manifestations in your life. Until that you know certain mysteries, certain things won't be unlocked in your life. And listen to me carefully. And the Bible says, Moses asked to the Lord, Surely they will ask me, what is his name? We just want to know the name of the Lord. Say after me, the name of the Lord. One more time, the name of the Lord. One more time, the name of the Lord. We want to know the name of the Lord. And the next verse says, and God said unto Moses. Oh, this is capital. You know, capital letter. God said unto. Talk to me. God said unto. Moses. I am that I am. And he said. Moses asked to the Lord, what is your name? God said I am that I am. Say after me, I am that I am. You need to know the name of the Lord, the God, the God of all creation. When you say he's Elohim and he's Jehovah Rapha, these are the attributes of God. This, this is not the name of the Lord. This is how we call him by his attributes, his function, how he functioned. When he say he is a, he is a Elohim, which means he is a creator. When he say he is Jehovah Rapha, which means he can heal you. When he say he is Jehovah Shalom, he can give you peace. When, he, when we say he is a Jehovah El Ephrathah, -er which means uh, he can open the way where there seems to be no way. But this is not the name of the Lord. This is how he functioned. Are you with me this night? But God Almighty himself giving an answer to Moses and said, Moses, 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 Moses. I want to tell you something. You asked me something deep. Zekranda Labusha Yakuzma. He said, I am that I am. This is my name. And he said, and he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, What? I am has sent me unto you. I think you are not getting Shaka Masata. Until you know certain mysteries, certain things won't be unlocked. Our God has a name. 
when you call upon the name of the lord when you get into a dimension and say i call upon the name that name that is above all other name that i know his name he is the great i am which means he is the past present and the future Shalabranda Kasiampena is not is not the God who only work in the past. He's not only God who work in the present. He's not only God who work in the future. But I know he's I am which means he's the past, present, and the future. As he can go into my past, he can go into my future. As he can go into my future, he can go into my past. As he go into my past, as he go into my future, he can be at the present, which means he can solve the past situation and he can solve the future situation. He can solve the present situation. I came to prophesy over somebody. I don't care what kind of situation that you are going through right now. Shalabrantakaya. As he his name is great I am the I am the great I am the great I am is about to intervene in your situation if you believe somebody shout amen somebody shout amen somebody shout amen listen to me God said I am say after me I am I am has sent me unto you I am has sent me unto you. You should say, I am. Zabraka takasia. You charge in your spirit right now. I am. When you go through the valley of the shadow of death, you should remember the name of the Lord and say, I am. The I am is with me. Shataya. The great I am is holding my hand. The great I am is able to open the doors for me. The great I am is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, about all that I ask or think according to the power. Shalabrantaya. Somebody lift up your right hand and shout Amen. Zebra Hataya Mazia. Touch your neighbor and say, the great I am. The great I am. Listen to me carefully. And God said to Moses, Moses, you have to tell them, I am. And Bible, scripture, always interpret the scripture. You don't need any other things. When you study the scripture through the binocular of the Holy Spirit, are you with me this night? No, you are not with me. Are you with me this night? Put. Shakata <laughs> Yamana. Hallelujah. That's why we sang a song today. His name is the highest. Dance about the moon. Your name is the highest. Your name is the greatest. Your name is dance about the moon. Your name is the highest. Your name is the greatest. Your name is dance about the moon. And positions, your name stands above them all, and the angels cry, Holy, O creation, cry, Holy, you are lifted high, Holy, Holy. His name is powerful than any other name. Any other name. People of God, you and I have received. You and I have received a greatest gift 
from God Almighty. Nothing else but His name. Hmm. Shaka Bataya. Are you with me this night? The moment that you tap into that revelation, the moment that you tap into that understanding, the moment that you understand my King Jesus, hey, Kalabanta, His name is above all other names. When you tap into that dimension to understand that when I need healing, I call upon the name of the Lord and say, my God is Jehovah Rapha. So the healing will be activated over your life. You can call upon the name of the Lord. Listen, I'll show you something very powerful. You know that David, the young boy, the she boy, and when he was confronting the great giant Goliath. Shabarahat Allah Kasiya. Goliath. Touch your neighbor and say Goliath. Today, I don't know. I'm prophesying over somebody. Kim, you're going to bring down your Goliaths. I don't care what kind of Goliath you're facing in your life. But you need to take charge of him and say, Goliath, you can't stand before me. Uh, are you with me this night? Shala Branta Kataya. Listen, when this she boy, David, that he hate, he hate, he hate the Philistines that came against the people of Israelites. And the Bible says, uh, if I'm not wrong, 40 days and 40 nights, which means morning and evening, morning and evening, they are just torturing the people of Israelites, which means uh, day and night. And the Bible says there was a champion from the camp of Philistines. His name is Goliath. And he was coming out from the camp. And he was confronting. And he was challenging the people of Israelites. One thing he doesn't understand. If he failed to understand. These guys who? The people of Israelites. They came with a tack. And the tag, it's, it says like this. That she not my anointed. You know with me. Listen, this guy began to threaten. This guy began to challenge. So this young boy is coming on that way. And he asked and he got to know. Anyone who's going to bring down this great giant Goliath. The king is going to reward that person. The king is going to give his daughter. And king is going to free him and his family from all the debts. God is going to give him, sorry, the king is going to give him some millions. Millions. Which means his bank account is going to have millions. You, you are against millions, huh? You need to understand, you and I are at the end time. There's a, as we, you and I are at the end time, God wants to trust you with the finance. Why? Because in order for the end time harvest to take place, we need a financial revival in the body of Christ. So when I say millions, uh, you need to shout amen. amen. Hallelujah. Which means we need to build the kingdom of God. Do the assignments. Are you with me this night? Listen. And the king said, I'm going to do all these things. So they would go to know there will be a reward for the battle that he's going to fight. You must understand, don't fight any battle if there is no reward. Are you with me this night? Are you with me this night? So listen. 
un you need to understand i messed up when i was reading this scripture where i was stuck on when there is a you know like uh, in the scripture it says uh, this guy is coming out and threatening and torturing the people of israelites day and night 40 days if then 80 times these guys the people of israelites going to sleep by hearing what the goliath has been speaking to them they when they go to bed they are remembering they recollecting with the so much of fear trembling the goliath goliath they are going to sleep with the goliath they getting up in the morning with the goliath they are going to sleep with the goliath getting up in the morning with the goliath i don't care what kind of goliath that you face day and night but today is the end of every goliath that you face in Shala branda la cosa kataya rakataya masopatia some of you are overthinking before you go to bed some of you are crying before you go to bed because you are facing certain goliaths certain goliaths the goliaths are coming like a thoughts goliaths are coming like a sickness goliaths are torturing you but i came to prophesy over somebody in the name of the lord every goliath that you face in your life let it be an end of that oppression and the depression and the affliction in the name of jesus leta manakata ya manakata ya bara jala branda kato bara kataya rakataya masakataya prophesy over your golia tonight and say you don't have any authority out of my territory out of my household out of my village out in the name of za branda like is listen listen these guys are going to bed by hearing Goliath getting up in the morning Goliath going to bed Goliath getting up in the morning Goliath 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 always Goliath listen in the realms of the spirits hallelujah listen to me listen to me Are you with me this night? From the beginning till now, Goliath is a famous person. Seriously. Listen, the hearing this this threatening words. This abusive words from this guy. When I read the scripture, The Bible says David made this statement David said who is this uncircumcised Philistines who is trying to defiling the army of the living God this is powerful who are these uncircumcised which means who is this guy is not covenanted with the promise me has my family has my forefathers has we are covenanted and we are grafted and rooted in the lord who is this guy who is this guy shabaka tayamana you should ask this question when you face certain problem in your life who are you devil Who are you to touch on me you don't have any authority you don't have any power even to stand before me because me i carry the presence of god yes. me i carry the power of god me i carry the name of the lord listen he said who are these uncircumcised philistines trying to defile the armies of god and when this goliath saw something that he is taking the stones and coming against goliath and he said 
are you going to treat me like a dog that you're coming against me with the stones kala mandala crosi are you with me this night hey are you with me this night no you're not with me you're not with me are you with me this night we should solve these issues tonight in the name of jesus in the name of jesus we're going to settle down the matter of golia tonight we going to labranda tanda 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 shayabaha somebody shout amen somebody shout amen listen to me he, the goliath said goliath said why are you coming against me with the stones and all because he is well equipped he, uh, you know like uh, you know the bible says uh, even his jacket has a certain pounds of weight made with the brush and the helmet is you know he is a great giant when he this young boy the sheep boy the ordinary boy when he was taking the stone he said hey are you going to treat me like a duck and some uh, i think uh, i think if i'm not wrong the contemporary version it says uh, you're going to treat me like a puppy you coming against me like that and the bible says he cursed david by the name of his gods you need to understand there comes the mystery yeah 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 are you with me this night are you with me this night philistine so dagen are you with me this night half man and half fish go and google it you will see and goliath cursed and said today i'm going to kill you and i'm going to kill you and i'm going to make you a sacrifice offering to my gods and he cursed david by his gods then david understood one thing kali pranta kaya this battle is no longer between me and goliath this battle is going to be oh between two entities two spiritual entities this battle is not longer a normal battle between two parties this battle is spiritual battle kaya mantaya some of your battle that you're facing in your life that you think it's natural some your battle that you face you think it's common no 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 i came to tell you until you take charge in the spirit and look through the binacular of the holy ghost and discern it and identify and say this is not normal this is not normal i need to deal with this oh my goodness somebody tonight taking charge in the realms of the spirit and going to fight every bat every bat every battle the devil is releasing against you and your family le branda la cosa kataya le bra kataya le branda kataya rakata kataya no longer no longer no longer, no longer this fight is natural but is a bow natural le branda la gozia zebra hatasia listen to me the bible says he cursed david by his gods then he understood hey this is not natural this is cross the natural this is the battle now between two demonic sorry but in between the demonic and deity and the lord of host now when he cursed david by his gods david said i don't need any equipments that you carry to fight against you maybe you are well equipped maybe you are well you know like you have all the facilities i don't need any kind of stuff spares or javelin or any kind of stuff 
you come to me with all this equipment but i'm going to fight with you i'm going to come against you in the name of the lord Ramsa Kataya, thou comest to me with the sword, with the spear, and with the shield. But I come, Shaya Vantaya. Oh, but I come. Somebody shout, I come. I come. I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts. In the name of the Lord of hosts. You have the equipment. You have the javelin. You have the spear. But what I have, the name above all of the name. The name above all of the name. The name above all of the name. The name of all the other name. I come against you in the name of the Lord. People of God, I came to prophesy over somebody. I came to tell you, we got a name. You got a name. I got a name. The powerful name. Above all other name. The heaven and the hell and the heads. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess and say the name of Jesus. There is healing in his name. There is miracle in his name. There is deliverance in his name. There is prophecy in his name. There are there are there are there are supernatural blessing in his name. There are sahale branda kata 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 kataya ramsa brataya. I feel the Holy Ghost as I came to prophesy over you. The name of Jesus is going to do wonder working things in your life in this month. In the name of Jesus, somebody shout amen. amen. Somebody shout amen. Somebody shout amen. You and I got a name. Somebody shout, we got a name. We got a name. We got a name. And no wonder why the young David, he wrote in his Psalms, he said, Oh, some trust in chariots, some trust in the horses, but we shall remember. The name of the Lord, we shall remember the name of the Lord. Some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but I trust in the name of the Lord. I shall remember the name of the Lord. Yes. This month shall be the month to remember. This month shall be the month to remember. This month shall be the month to remember. Le branda kasataya. Somebody shout amen. Somebody shout amen. Somebody shout amen. Some trust in the chariots. Some trust in the horses. But we shall remember. We shall remember. In your trials you shall remember. In your temptations you shall remember. In your chaos you shall remember. In your poverty you shall remember. In your sickness you shall remember. In your affliction you shall remember. In your oppression you shall remember. In your anxiety you shall remember. In your worry you shall remember. In you are so oh my goodness problems that you are remember the name of the Lord the name of the Lord is a strong tower in the name of the Lord is a strong tower the righteous shall run and do it somebody watching me online I came to prophesy over you the name of Jesus about to perform one day in your life in the name of Jesus Sabaranda Lagataya Lebra Kasiam in your oppression you should remember the name of the Lord. In your affliction you shall remember the name of the Lord. In your worry you shall remember the name of the Lord. In your chaos you shall remember the name of the Lord. In the problem no one can solve in your life you shall remember the name of the Lord. You must remember the name of the Lord because the name of the Lord is a strong Oh, 